Alright guys, we're starting this video a little late, so we're out here with the snow bunny, and if you haven't known, that's what we're going to call this thing moving forward, the snow bunny, and the snow bunny is having some issues, so the dealer said mechanically she was sound, and they were ordering the parts for the suspension, when I got her started and we were driving her today, and... I had, uh, I had to take some friends that were here in town. Shout out to my homeboy, Hazard, that was in town for his B-Day. That's why I got this here and this stuff on the floor over there. Let me see if I can get this to lay down. Another thing that's just broken and not working in here is the center console. Sometimes will come down and then get stuck other times. And we have this wonderful thing called a check engine light. I have no idea why this one is here or why I have it, but we're going to find out. I guess I got to give her some gas and then find out what the hell that's about. Fun times. Yay. Anyways, I just wanted to catch it because I saw this this evening. And uh, we'll pick up the video tomorrow. We'll talk about what's going on with the truck, what I've already got done, and um, what else we're going to do with it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, we're back. And um, so I just left the dealer. And for full disclosure, as far as time and what day it is and all that good stuff, um, it is Saturday. And um, it's been a few days since I've actually messed with the truck in that time we have a name for the truck i'm actually going to shoot a very small like video or a short um for the truck here shortly but uh major shout out to my home girl coco um who came up with the name snow bunny which i think is hilarious <laughs> I, I think it's hilarious hmm. i think it's absolutely hilarious but anyways, um, I have a sponsor for you guys today, and this is ridiculous because, you know, fat boys got to eat. And um, major shout out to Burger King. And right now, guys, if you guys sign up for the Burger King app on Android and or iOS, they're giving away, at least for today, and I'm going to publish this video today, uh, they are giving away a bacon double cheeseburger with any purchase and um i want to personally thank burger king for sponsoring today's video now here's the thing um <laughs> i got this email out of the blue and i kind of was like this is cap <laughs> this is cap did burger king does not want to sponsor my channel you know what i'm saying but then you know they saw how I like to do trolls, moms, and they was like, TK, we want you to have it your way. And I, I, I literally had to clear that whole sentence. They have no idea what sideways means, I don't think. But anyways, they wanted me to have it my way, and they wanted me to smash trolls, mom sideways. So a major shout out to Burger King for sponsoring today's video. Now that I've probably made Burger King the most, their advertising agency probably the most nervous ever. <laughs> And they're probably going to be like, what does he mean by sideways? Let's talk about this truck. <laughs> and what's going on with it. <clears throat> so, um, it is 9.58 in the morning. And um, I, just, I did just leave the dealer. Fuck you. Uh, so, I did just leave the dealer, all right? Um, yesterday, or in the evening you guys got to see i had a check engine light pop up it was running like crap couldn't figure out what was going on and that was the thing that drove me nuts about this car i mean about the truck was because 
it didn't have any issues um, running. It ran just fine. Like, there was no running issues. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I get a check engine light and whatever, whatever. And come to find out, and I think somebody commented in the comments about uh, checking different things, which could cause it to run rough or whatever, or the bumping might not be the transmission. It might actually be one of the spark plugs. And boy, boy, we all right. I, I, I need to go back. I wish I could had time before I, because I have to actually publish this today. I would like to go get that comment and just put it up on the screen. But, um, so not only was it a spark plug, I guess these also have the coil packs uh, on top. Um, it had an ignition issue and the spark plugs were crap. Now, the truck only has 56 plus thousand miles, you know, 50, a little over 56. I guess it's closer to 57 at this point. Yes, I've already put a thousand miles on this truck. Um, closer to 57,000 at this point. You know, I wouldn't think the spark plugs would need to be done already, but maybe I was wrong. Um, you know, this truck has probably operated in very extreme heat and hot temperatures. And this truck calls for 0W20. You know what? Mexico. <laughs> I can't help it. I, I mean, there's just something about hearing a fart can on a car and then they look at you like they're trying to do something and it's just kind of like, fart can... Meet my V8. <laughs> Meet my V8. Hold this hell. Anyways. Um, what were we saying? Oh, so we replaced the spark plugs. It wasn't actually expensive. Um, even at the dealer, it wasn't bad. So I went ahead and had the spark plugs done. And they replaced the one, um, I guess, ignition coil that was going bad. Or or they that they found that was bad. I, I, you know, like if I did that for my BMW at the BMW dealership, I'd probably be paying a ton of money, like a, an actual ton, 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 ton of money. But, um, but I don't pay a ton of money because I keep a warranty, which we'll get to a new sponsor <laughs> in an upcoming video that I just signed with, um, which you've seen some of your favorite actors and other people, uh, on like my, like my, uh, childhood seeing Chris Berman doing a video it, it doesn't make any sense but hey they want to shoot sports center from a car garage whatever we'll talk about that coming up here in an upcoming video so stay tuned for that because uh, this company wanted to sponsor us uh, for the BMW and basically give me an extra hundred thousand miles of warranty for free well we're gonna have an updated video on how much CarMax is paid out of my BMW very soon <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how long this sponsor wants to stay in the game. But, uh, hey, I'm down. But anyways, uh, so we got that done. Spark plugs, uh, that ignition coil. And, um, you know, and it's crazy because we, we literally had just left the dealer. Um, now, I have a separate video for you guys. I wanted to, I, I was going to put it in with this, but I'll make it a separate video where they replaced the boots on the uh, four-wheel drive. Uh, and I found out why the gas mileage was sucking so bad. This thing never would disengage four wheel high. It was like stuck. So they fixed that. So now I'm in, I can go to two wheel drive or four high or all wheel drive mode. And um, now this thing averages like 21 miles to the gallon instead of 14. So it is doing fine for me on gas. It's very similar to where the Black Mamba was. Um, and you know, I had the Mamba on, what was it, 30? threes or whatever the hell it was so not rims we're talking about tires baby mud tires um uh, damn why did i have to say why did i have to say mud tires what what why did why did the oklahoma texas arkansas mud tires <laughs> why couldn't i just say mud tires <laughs> why did it have to come out like mud tires damn shit Oh, I'm having too much fun today. Anyways, I'm in a good mood because anytime you can go to the dealer and you have a check engine light and the car's running like shit, truck's running like shit, and you're able to get out of there 
for less than 300 bucks. God, it felt so, you know what? I didn't even argue. It didn't even feel bad when you, you know, when you break out the credit card for a $300 dealer bill. It's just kind of like, <sighs> like, it wasn't bad. So all in all, uh, where we're at now with the suspension work and everything else I've done, uh, those spark plugs and that ignition coil, I'm at, um, I'm currently sitting at 82, hold on. Yeah, $8,254 and some change. So let's just call it $8,250. We're at $8,250 on this truck. And um, now she's pretty well sorted. Um, you guys did spot an issue with the LED headlights. You guys were hitting me up about that from photos that I posted on the stories here on YouTube and on Instagram. Uh, the dealer went ahead and, and addressed that as well. And because it was a TSB and something that GM already knew about, I didn't have to pay for that. And LED headlights are fucking expensive. So major shout out to y'all for pointing that shit out because they fixed it. And now, like, it's so much brighter at night. It's not even funny. So, um, yeah, not a bad day. We are uh, taking the snow bunny out. I'm actually going on my way out. You can see I'm out here by the mountains and stuff. You, I, I guess you know it's coming, right? <laughs> I mean... I got a truck. I'm $8,000 into a truck. What are we going to do with the truck? If you've been following my channel for a long time, you remember the last thing I did with a uh, Chevy Silverado? That's right. Truck things. We're about to go out and get some truck things in. So um, stay tuned. There will be some videos on uh, the capability of the 2020 Chevy Silverado. We're going to see how four-wheel drive this thing really is. So uh, I'm going to go out and have fun with it. Why not? Come on. So, ah, I also just want a Kia Nero, a Nero, a Kia Nero. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. It's fully electric. Um, it is, and well, it does turn on, but it doesn't move supposedly. And that'll be coming up for you guys in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. But, uh, yeah, there's your update on what's going on with this. Well, um... We'll take a walk around the truck so you can see how she looks now. And I can show you guys the boot and the suspension stuff that was updated and fixed. And then um, we'll go ahead and get out of here. All right. I told you guys once we got her clean, we would get into some of the stuff that I want to address. You can see the tires are nice and shiny and clean. The wheels are clean. I did my best to try to brighten up this chrome. But you can see there's still like some dirt and some water spots on it. I'm going to have to... Uh, get the spot detailer out and clean it up i was really looking for damage in the paint you know bigger dents now i'd already pulled out the one dent that was back here on this quarter we'll get to that in a minute uh, but you can see a couple different things like that is actually in the clear but i think if i hit it with the da i can get that out and then there's like this stuff here along the edge it looks like it's just constant scratches like somebody ran it through the woods or something I think what I'm going to probably do is wrap this truck, like just wrap it, because I think that's the best option. Now, it looks like there's like a mud flap and some rubber pieces. You see this over here, right? I don't think I have that on the other side, but the dent that was right here, that crease, it's all gone. I got it all out. It's nice and smooth. You can't ever tell it was damaged. Now the other side, which we'll get to here in a minute, you can definitely tell. Okay, it does have the caps and stuff. This one is definitely all the way down to the metal. See that? So there's no fix on that. That's gonna require paint, sand paint. Same thing back here. You can see the scuff. And remember, it was also um, kind of like bent here. I was able to pull it out but when I pulled it out, I got like just this little bit of a crease here. I'm going to keep working on that. I'll probably be able to get that out. Uh, same thing here. This I think I can get. Oh, look. Comes off on my damn nail. We cleaned it up. I cleaned the damn truck. <laughs> I just cleaned the truck. And you're telling me that this crap is literally like surface deep that I can get it with a fingernail. Why wouldn't it come off when I washed it though? I scrubbed the shit out of the paint. All right, well, that looks better. 
That down there, I don't know, man. I, I'm probably gonna have to hit this with like compound. The paint is intentionally kind of orange peeled here, kind of like this, to kind of help it from getting damaged, I guess. But that's pretty much it. All of the dings and stuff that were in it are out. Um, now, I still have to work on this. This is still a little off the line. See how she sticks out a little bit? I'll be able to heat that up and adjust it, but now the body line at least looks right here. But the real horrible thing is this. Like, it's been scratched all to shit in here. And I'm um, going to have to see what I can do with it. I ordered the leather kit. They actually make a kit for this, that, and it goes right in and makes these, turns these into leather seats. I can't wait to show you guys those. But there you have it. I got her cleaned up. Uh, you just watched me get the last little scuff off the side. All the little scuffs and stuff. The only ones that are deeper, I'm going to hit it with a DA and try to clean her up, make her look as good as possible. So uh, stay tuned. I mean, there's going to be a lot of content coming from this truck. I think maybe a wrap, a, a leveling kit. I don't know if, if I do a bigger lift. I know my brother-in-law is like, lift it, lift it, TK, lift it. <laughs> my brother-in-law has the same model year. His front is a little different. I don't think he has the LED headlights. But um, you can go follow him on uh, Instagram, Silver Ghosted. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to, I think we're going to lift it put a wrap on it and I might throw some fuel wheels or something on it um, and see what happens but anyways there you have it let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below I'm gonna tell my kids that was Macy fucking gray right there I'm telling you <laughs> I know y'all gonna be like TK you fired no you did not yes I did Macy gray out here beasting I'm going to get canceled. I don't care. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Another little update video for you guys on the 2020 Silverado. I got so much more content on this thing coming soon, and I can't wait to, uh, to share it with you. Anyways, uh, for now, that's going to do it. Um, the videos, like I said, I had the other video where the truck was in the shop getting the boot and stuff done. I guess I could show you guys that. Um, I'll just refilm that and put that in with the stuff from, from the dealership. But, yeah, um, stay tuned. There's more content, lots of content coming on this truck soon. And I think I'm going to do something crazy with it. I think we are going to do that. And unlike, and I'm not saying taking shots at any channels, I'm not doing that. Um, you know, I'm not, we're not going to do any, like, donations or anything like that. I'm either going to do merch or something else. So, stay tuned.